Hello guys, Dr. Gonzalez here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a potential COVID-19 vaccine complication that I'm beginning to see in the orthopedic sports medicine clinic more and more in the last couple of weeks. And is a severe shoulder bursitis, what we call subacromial subdultal bursitis. Now, unfortunately, this, is hap this can happen with any vaccine. I actually see it uh, routinely in the flu season when we when our, our patients are getting vaccinated for the flu, but because there's been such an increase in the amount of patients getting vaccinated for COVID-19, that I'm actually beginning to see more and more of these patients in the office. What happens is inside the shoulder, there's a layer of tissue called the bursa, or called the sobrachromial subdeltoid bursa, which is a lining that protects the rotator cuff. What was happening is that the injection of the vaccine is unwantedly placed inside of the bursa. This, this, is, this is happening, especially in these thinner patients that, that don't, they don't have a lot of muscle. The injection is given um, into the deltoid, but is injected inside of the bursa. What happens is that this creates a severe inflammatory response as the vaccination is, it goes inside of the bursa, creating this severe, severe shoulder pain. It's actually pretty, pretty uh, prominent. Patients are coming in where not even, they're not able to abduct or, or raise the shoulder whatsoever. Now, a little bit of shoulder soreness after the vaccine for the first couple of days, it's okay, it's expected. But if that soreness or the severe pain persists after a week, there's a high likelihood that you develop uh, this bursitis. And I actually wanted to show it to you uh, on the ultrasound to see how does it look. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you um, how does this look on ultrasound. I have the normal side here. This is the, the shoulder that was not injected just for orientation purposes. So what I want you to see here this right here is actually the rotator cuff muscle. The muscle is like the uh, we call the burr beak appearance attaching into this the, the the bone. This is the bone right here. The skin is going to be on top, and from here to here is what we call the deltoid. So all of this is the, the deltoid muscle. This black line right there is what we call and we refer to as the bursa. That's the lining that protects and covers and separates deltoid from rotator cuff. So here's what happened. What was happening in these patients, especially in thinner patients, if you notice, this is my measurement. One centimeter down, then the vaccination is going unwantedly being placed into the bursa. But what happens once when you put the injection inside the bursa, it creates a severe, severe inflammatory response, creating this what we'll call bursitis. I actually, now that we know what a normal one looks like, I'm actually going to show you the abnormal side. Immediately, you could actually see that lining, how thickened and how inflamed it is. Now, how do we treat this, which is the next question? Well, we treat it like we would any other bursitis. We got to put medication inside of the bursa. We want to make sure we now we put some steroid medication. And this is, I actually have a video of it. You can actually see me now scanning so you can see the full thickness of the bursa side to side. And in here, you're actually going to see my needle coming in from the left side, trying to uh, inject medication inside of the bursa. Now I'm inside of the bursa. Uh, now what I'm trying to do is this is purposely trying to get some inf some of that inflammation to go away by injecting uh, a little bit of steroid. And at this point, this is the the, the other video showing medication and, and kind of making sure that, that my steroid injection goes throughout the whole bursa.